Hello, welcome to A Word of Hope for Saturday of the first week of Advent. I'm Father Scott in Ireland, coming to you from Dragonthorn Cottage. I'm cleaning it out here. It was the writer's retreat of a brother who just died. It's a lovely place. The Gospel today is from Matthew, and it's a little bit funny because Jesus sees that the people are like a sheep without a shepherd. And so he says to his disciples, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his vineyard. And then you'd think the next thing would be his disciples praying for that, but it's not. The next line is, Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over the unclean spirits and power to cast them out. And he sends them out. <laughs> it's as if Jesus told them to do that. And then the father reminded him, son, you know what needs to be done. You got these people to help you do it. Just go out about it. Don't bother me with this. <laughs> So, are we meant to be Jesus or the disciples? We're somewhere in the middle there. Because we can pray to God, oh, fix this, help with that. And God might say to us, look around yourself. You got all the help you need. Just inspire it. Challenge people to get with you and help you and send them out. Share your authority with them, and things will get done. That's the way it should work. So we were in Chicago going, what to do? Poor Father Richard, he's dying over there. I guess I'll go. <laughs> Needs to be done, you go do it. And then we're here in the cottage, and we're looking all around. There's a, there's a safe over there. and. Oh, I'm looking everywhere, asking people, does anybody know the combination to the safe? And the provincial just walks over to it and opens the door. Oh, <laughs> just do it. He's smart that way. That's why he's the provincial and I'm not. <laughs> but our feast today as well, it's a memorial of Francis Xavier, a famous Jesuit of the 16th century, who went and converted thousands of people in Japan, bringing the good news to them and uh, trying to make something just there to keep them from being exploited by Europeans. And then he went on into China and died. He just went out and spoke to the crowds and they converted. <laughs> he was a perfect example of Jesus' disciples being sent and doing amazing things. So what are you being called to do today? Something amazing? Or just get something done, like cleaning out the cottage? Whichever it is, don't ask God to do it for you, but maybe ask for a little help from your friends. God bless you. <laughs>